Hi, it's Robert Ryerson with Tradex Foods and I'm here in Vladivostok, Russia. I'm here for the opening of our new office and uh, while I'm here, of course, I've been uh, investigating the Russian uh, salmon fishery as well as the pink salmon fishery. Some notes that I think everyone should be aware of, uh, first and foremost, the snowpack on the mountains is quite low and that has caused the, the water to be a lot colder than expected. Therefore, the, uh, the ex expectations are for the sockeye to run at one to two weeks late. Uh, it seems like that already, there doesn't seem to be a lot of fish out. Uh, that's the first thing to recognize. The second is the fish that has come out, I've noticed that they're quite small. They seem to be the one, 1 to 1.2 kg area, but again, the fishery is just starting, so I'm not sure if that's uh, indicative of what will happen in the end. And lastly, what I've noted while being here for the last week, between here and Kamchatka, now I noticed lots of uh, companies have merged. Uh, the larger companies have taken the smaller companies, uh, which to me could be an eventual problem uh, because if your relationship is with the smaller company and the larger companies consume the smaller one, uh, it might be the end of some relationships and might change the supply chain dramatically. Uh, we've seen this happen in other areas uh, like Alaska and Canada as well. So that's another noticeable thing. As well, our ne next moving on to pink salmon, uh, the fishery isn't for another two to three weeks. However, it is anticipated to be a large fishery and the processors are gearing up quite large for it. I visited a number of processors and uh, it looks like it's going to be a good year for sockeye salmon or pink salmon. This is Robert Ryerson. Have a good day.